Hi, this is Nathan, your Neighborhood Arcade and Pinball Talk Guy. We're going to be reviewing Blackjack by Bally today. Please look for our review under the description of our YouTube video, as well as like and follow us on Arcade and Pinball Talk under groups on Facebook, Arcade Pinball Talk on Instagram, uh, as well as go ahead and click that red button down there. You see it? You know you want to. I'm using my psychic powers to point your finger right there. Click it. Let's go ahead and get this review underway, shall we? Anyway, first impressions of this table... Pretty decent layout. I'm liking the colors and the theme of it. Of course, playing cards is always a fun thing to, to be doing. So, and uh, of course, this ball gets stuck there, so we gotta nudge the table a little bit. Get that ball off of that, that outlane there. Save us some time, keep the game going. Uh, but anyway, yeah, the you have two outlanes uh, starting off on uh, table mechanics. You have two out lanes, two in lanes, uh, with some rollovers there for points. Uh, you collect your bonus from the bottom of the table all the way up to your bonus to, to do your dealer's hand versus player hand. Uh, you have two targets to the left. Uh, you have a rollover uh, lane to the right. Uh, and you have two targets protected, uh, protecting two bumpers, uh, mushroom bumpers, as well as a bumper and four columns in the middle of the table with a spinner that says blackjack to the left. A thousand win lit, and of course you just you start stacking that up, and then you also have a lane to the right. But all in all, not bad. Paddle gap's not too bad. Uh, with some of these older tables, as you can tell, ball speed's going to be a little bit slower on this, just because of the way that these tables were made. Uh, these older wood rail uh, type setups were either more flat; they might not have been as as uh, I guess you would say angled to get the speed as high so you know again some of these older games that say skill shot stuff like that they're a little bit slower play but all in all pretty good theme uh table mechanics look good i mean it's got a nice fluid kind of flow to the table uh, paddle gap like i said flipper gap is not too bad right now uh, ball speed's not too bad replayability on this just because of the theme and stuff i'm sure a lot of people play poker uh this is actually a pretty cool looking table just from the get i mean look at Look at how it's laid out. I mean, the blocks obviously make it a little bit harder, as you see there. See, I'm targeting that. You know, you got those targets and you got those kind of peg bumpers uh, on the edge of it, and they're there to keep you from getting up the middle. And, uh, you know, just to add a little bit of layer of difficulty to it. So, you know, really decent layout on this thing. Uh, no real toys to, to talk about. I mean, obviously, these older tables, the theme was everything, the design, the artwork. A lot of people love pinball art. I'm one of them. I think that some of the stuff that people have put out is, is absolute art and uh, some of these older tables just have that old aesthetic to them uh, that's really cool but beyond that they also have fun gameplay and so on this table for instance you know it, it, so far it's it's pretty good I'm trying to match up obviously the hands here uh, you got the player's hand at 19 and 19 and now we're at a 9,000 bonus and of course the more you hit these bumpers and the more you hit these targets, it seems that it changes the hand. Although I'm at a 9,000 bonus right now, if I hit these targets up here, I think what it does is it, see, it just changed the dealer's hand. So uh, the yellow targets are the dealer's hand, the red targets are the player's hand on this table. So pretty cool, pretty interesting. So there's a little bit of uh, strategy to this. You need to make sure to hit what you need to outperform the dealer's hand. And uh, all in all, a great table. Definitely check this out in its mechanical or virtual format. And again, we appreciate you watching today. Thanks again for your time.